What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and in this video we'll be taking a look at the Nuketown Easter Egg which is of course in the Nuketown multiplayer map, the pre-order bonus for Black Ops 3. That was remade from Black Ops 1 and 2 and has now got allocation for the wall running and thruster packs. If you're an old Black Ops fan you'll know that the Nuketown multiplayer maps have always had a really special Easter Egg involving mannequins. This map is no different in Black Ops 3, what you need to do is shoot all the heads of all of the mannequins around the map in under 2 minutes. You need to take all the heads off every last one in the entire map and the mannequins spawn in random locations each time you load up the map so they do appear in random spots. It's hard to memorize and they're not going to spawn in the same location every single time but eventually you get the hang of where roughly they spawn in the general areas of the map. In terms of weapons to use I'd probably recommend either a assault rifle or a submachine gun with fast mags and extended mags on it which is good attachments for that little bit of extra speed but honestly it doesn't really matter because it isn't that hard. It may take a few attempts to master but it really isn't too difficult and they give you quite a long time to actually do this. There are no mannequins outside the map they're only inside unlike the previous versions so all you have to worry about is the mannequins that are in sight on the actual map so sweep through where you spawn not wasting any time and go through methodically not missing out any of them and take out all the heads of all of the mannequins once you do that you'll notice a special event starts to happen and that special like zombies theme tune starts to play as well that jingle that plays when you begin a zombies map that'll play as well and all the mannequins turn into zombies and chase you it's really really funny and also a little bit creepy at the same time and they'll infinitely spawn and come after you there are no rounds they just have as much health as a normal zombie so it's basically like this infinite wave of constant zombies that respawn around the map when you kill one and they'll just come after you. So it's almost like a Nuketown Zombies Easter egg and a reference to the Nuketown Zombies map in Black Ops 2. They take around three hits to kill you and if you die then you can respawn as normal and continue playing and they'll still keep spawning. And you can go through different classes trying out different loadouts and different weapons and trying different ways to kill them. And like I said they're never going to stop spawning so you can just have fun with this and there are quite a few spots you can sit but they actually can't get you so they'll just chase your feet which is pretty funny and you can sit on the Nuketown sign for example and shoot down from them if you want to have a break or just watch them kind of swarm at your feet and uh, you can have fun with lots of different specialists to try and kill them. I was hoping that Prophet's Tempest weapon would actually chain kill them all like a Wonder Wolf weapon does in Zombies but it actually doesn't, it just kills them one by one which is a little bit disappointing. But I can imagine some fun weapons to use would be the Flamethrower, that would be really cool to burn them all and also ruins gravity spikes as well, that would be really cool as well. So feel free to try this out yourselves and let me know what you think and just have fun with it, try out different specialists and try killing the zombies. But it's actually a really really cool easter egg, they all turn into zombies and they all chase you and it's really kind of creepy. I've got loads more Black Ops 3 videos on the way of course so be sure to subscribe to not miss out on any of those. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you're going to try it out yourselves and I'll see you guys in the next video.